all of my my loose leaf tea collection. Um, I have a big pile of it right here beside me, and I'm excited to show it all to you. And I'm going to be using this bowl for you to see what the leaves actually look like. Um, you'll notice most of my tea is from David's Tea, and that's because it's right beside my grocery store, and I just I go there whenever I'm doing groceries. So it's, it's very close and convenient, but I'm definitely not opposed to other tea stores. <laughs> and you'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. Move the camera down a little bit. I'm gonna start with my tea that is in bags. Okay. So this first one is a Chinese tea, and it's called Latsang Sushong Star. And maybe you've heard about this. It's a black tea, straight black tea, but it has been smoked instead of dried. And so, the description says, Lovers of single malt whiskey and fine cigars always fall for this, this tea's heady aroma of pine wood fire. It's just that sophisticated. And I bought this for my boyfriend who really likes smoky things and he drinks this more than I do. You can smell it all. It's so strong. So it's all, it smells just like a campfire. So those are the leaves. It looks like most black tea. And I think like this isn't only from the David Tea. You can get it at other specialty sauces. It's the smoked black tea. It's amazing. Especially for guys who like the well, it's for girls or guys, whatever, but for guys that say that they don't like tea, but they like whiskey. This is the one for you. I have to show you the tea the One. Next. I got this actually to give as a gift to my mom, but I've been drinking some of it. I drank some this morning. It's a green tea. Mm, it's called Hot Lips. So this tea, I'll show it to you, it says, some like it hot and some like it really hot. If you love spice, this red hot cinnamon spiked green tea will be right up your alley. It has green tea, cinnamon, safflower, pink peppercorns, and chili peppers. It's really good. I love cinnamon. This one is just raw. It's amazing. Although it's not very spicy. It's more cinnamony. Just like the candy hot lips or cinnamon hot. Also for a gift, it's called Fired Up Fennel. It's herbal tea. Now, I don't really know if I like her, um, fennel very much. I think it's okay in tea, but it's not my favorite. Oh, it's so strong. It smells like it would be very good to eat. Maybe you could just cook with this. So there's the fennel. And those are chili peppers, can you imagine? It's fennel seeds, anise seeds, licorice root, and whole dried chili peppers. I haven't tried this one yet. Oh, it's so, it smells crazy. I don't even, I don't even know. What I would do with this. The um, description says this feisty blend has the perfect balance of mellow sweetness from fennel and licorice with a good dose of zing from the hot red chilies. Caffeine free. I bet this would be good if you were feeling sick. Okay. Next is the 
كبروا زي ما قلت هربطي هربا صغير الحساسية ستيكر this one is cinnamon rose hips nettle leaf oat straw ribis rose petals jasmine flower like it doesn't have it has ribis in it but it's not enough to call it a ribis tea I don't think it's just right there so I don't have very much of it left it says it's floral but it's cinnamon it's very cinnamony too and you can see the green ribis Petals. This one's very nice. This light floral elixir is a beautiful tea with rooibos, herbs, rose petals, and jasmine. Just steeping it is a beauty ritual. One tea. Okay, it's in a David's tea tin. There's a tin. There's no label book. The tea itself is that it's from uh, Tivana. What are we doing? I don't need to put it in here. This is a herbal tea, and I don't know what's in it because they didn't give me the okay. didn't have a list of the ingredients on it. Just said how to steep it on the bag it originally came in. But it's I think I do believe it's a, a rooibos tea, a green rooibos, blueberry. So it's blueberry, blueberry flavored. It's really good. I have a whole bunch of it in there. I think when I I caught a piece of tea. It's a blueberry tea from Tivana. I think there's no label. I just have to keep it in there. Okay, this is an old one I've used before. It's my Earl Grey tea. Mmm, it smells amazing. I literally just cut my nails today and uh, painted them and everything. But I have nothing. Just go up till I've got nothing, just finger nubs. We're almost there. I can't believe it. This one I've shown you in a bag before. I was steeping it before. In my jet, it's a green tea, and I got it in a green tin. So I really, I really like it so much. And then I got a whole bunch of this. I think, yeah, I got a, I filled it all the way up, 140 grams of this rice green tea. Mmm, so good. So it has puffed rice in it. It looks like a little pop. I'm gonna eat one of those and see what it tastes like. It's like a little popcorn. Mm, it tastes like sugar crisp. <laughs> like puffed rice. Not like Rice Krispies. Mmm, that's good. Mmm, I'm glad I did that. A whole jar of it, it's full. Heavy, too. This is the last of the David's tea. 
This is from my haul video a while back. Long life is long. I'm almost out of this tea. So this tea is oolong tea, peach, apricot, almond, orange peel. Oh, it is so good. I love this. The oolong tea is so curled up and when you steep it, it unrolls so much. The tea leaves become like massive things. And they're all so rolled up in here, you never would have believed that that would happen. Okay. This is really, really cute. Just a little Chinese tea. Green tea. This is straight green tea. Mm. I've only made it once so far. It just smells so earthy and mm, fresh. It's not jasmine scented like many green teas are. I got this from a friend. It's so cute. I love it. I can use this tin for whatever when I've done the tea. Cute. Okay, I have another straight black tea. I used this in my chai tea video. This is an Indian black tea. It's from um, India. From Nilgiri. The southern blue hills of India. Mm, that's really nice. So it looks the same as maybe the Lapsang or the Earl Grey. It's black tea leaves. Mm, this tea is so sweet. It goes so well with milk. Did you know that chai? just means tea in, I, I can't remember um, in what language, Punjabi, I think, but in India, yeah. Great, last one. Have you seen this one before? These are my tea, my blooming tea. So there it is. And this is jasmine. Oh, maybe it's not. I can't really tell. It's nice and sweet though. It might have stevia leaf in it, which is really sweet. Um, and a flower and green tea. When you steep it, it, it it blooms. Like it's so big. It's so beautiful. Now these are actually very expensive here in Canada, but they are not expensive in China. Oh my goodness, I have one more. I missed it. It's hiding. This is another this is straight black tea. Mmm. It's a blend of black teas. Like a, it's a breakfast tea. Comes in this little jar. I 
have it in you like a magnet so I can put it in my fridge or something. And that's all of them. That's it, that's all my loose leaf tea. And I mean, this keeps growing and I've finished some teas and I'm getting new ones and some of these are almost done. Um, and I love them all, I drink them all. And I really like it, it's fun. Tea is great. Well, that's it, so take care.